All right, so it seems like a lot of people are getting stuck on having the water system for Unity render. And this quick tutorial is just to show you how to do that. I have a quick scene set up. This is a new project. And I just created a quick scene with cubes just to show you the different water systems when I show you exactly how to get it to render. So right here will be the pool. Right here we'll set up the river and the open space will be the ocean. So the first thing you'd want to do is go to project settings. I have mine right here, but you know, you just go into that, open it and you go to HDRP under quality and you want to scroll down until you see water. If it's not open, you just, just toggle that, open it up and we want to enable that. Then we go back up here to graphics and HDRP global settings. And in here we want to go to frame settings and the rendering tab, open that, scroll down to the bottom. And you will see water so we'll enable water and go back to the scene so in the scene this is where a lot of people they get stuck so if we create a, a water volume real quick water surface we create a pool uh, sometimes it comes in like this you can see the whole screen turns into the pool sometimes you see nothing so how we get this to set up how we get it to render correctly is we in any volume you can do this on just a if you have a volume created already you know if you had a global volume sky volume whatever as long as whatever game object you have have a volume component you can add it so we'll add an override and this is the water rendering override so i just search for it and we enable that and just like that we have the pool you can't see it yet because it's hidden underneath so if you pull it up uh i'm moving the wrong thing actually this is the water volume so now you can see the the water i was moving the volume instead of the the water volume and the water surface so now that we have the water surface here that was the pool and we enable it over here in the volume you can see it renders if we disable it that's pretty much how you get things to render so if that's pretty much what you wanted to know you can you know hop off the video now and just go set up your settings but i'm going to show the other two water surfaces just gonna make this fill out each position that they should be in so let's just disable the uniform scaling and put that to the full length uh might need to just make that a little bit more extended all right good and you can actually do underwater as well but i'm not going to show that in this video because it takes a little bit more time to get set up if you guys want to like a full demonstration on you know setting up the water systems for the different ones and enabling the underwater and all that stuff um just let me know and i'll create a tutorial for that as well but i kind of just want to demo this real quick but you can enable the water underwater there and you just have to add a, a cube or something with a collider inside it to uh, trigger and set it up down there okay so let's continue on we're just gonna add the river now and the river bring that up here it's coming in pretty huge but the difference between the pool and the river is that the river runs in one direction and you can mess with all the settings over here but the pool is gonna act like a pool with the caustics and everything the river is just gonna flow in one direction let's rescale this as well so we disable the uniform scale and set this to around say 70 and this to around 10 and just these these volleys are pretty much just for my scene so you know if you copy them it most likely won't match your scene so i'm just going off what my scene kind of requires so as you can see here it's flowing in that direction and the pool is pretty much static you know a little bit of flow and a little bit of amplitude on the water and you can see the caustics and the river is just flowing so let's drop in the ocean as well and as you can see that already comes in and it's at the infinite distance so it's always gonna simulate as an infinite surface and there you go that's all three of the water systems and you know pretty much how to get them rendering on screen and again if you want me to do a full tutorial on how to set up or how to set up the rest of the settings and pretty much
do the underwater setup as well you know just let me know and i'll do that and yeah that's pretty much the end of this